Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? Good morning, great rising, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you are in the world. <laughs> Thank you for tapping in. Clicking on the video. At this point, I don't know what the title is, but you, you see it. Okay. Um, I was getting earlier during my meditation. Like, I saw some cards sticking out. I saw the Ace of Swords, you know, <clears throat> representing truth and clarity. I also saw the Lover's. And I saw the Queen of Swords. And this is sticking up. Marie Laveau. Good juju. Hmm. And that's a card number seven. To me, they give me like manifestation energy. <clears throat> using spiritual tools, techniques, and rituals to attract something. Hmm. But good juju, like nothing dark or negative. Um, that truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords, the lovers could be a partnership or a choice, right? And the Queen of Swords energy gives me, like, more truth, you know. <clears throat> but uh, From an intellectual standpoint, not an emotional one. Okay. So somebody may need to speak some truth about something. But check your emotions before you do it, perhaps. Interesting. Let me get one of these. Divine Abundance. <clears throat> Oracle card. Oh. What is that? The way it just popped down. Detachment, self-love, and flow. Mm. Yeah, some of y'all may need to speak some truth about a situation that you need to detach from out of love for self. Okay. And with that flow coming behind it, I feel like it's a test. They can either open or block a flow to something. Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy of the message? I know I asked for messages for the collective. I also ask that you keep me, my home, my family, and the viewers safe. From any negative energies or entities that may try to enter this session or be around us, period. Yes, please keep us free from any fuck energy. All right, the doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe them any. You don't believe anymore that they're you. Okay. Maybe some kind of truth that you're gonna speak is you know, or that you need to speak will free something. Maybe once you speak this truth, the other person uh, may give you a response that'll, you know, help allay some of your concerns, relieve some of your concerns, release some of the doubts or fears you may be experiencing. But look, maybe instead of hoping for that, you should just pray about it. Pray for the courage to be able to surrender something that you can't control. You know? Holy Spirit, what is the overall energy? I see this car sticking up. It's upside down. Excuse me. Messages through music. Yeah, so you can have telepathic communication or you could uh, just have um, you could have psychic gifts. Yeah, you know? 
you can get messages uh, from the most high through many ways. So tap into that. Use that. That's where you should get your confirmations from. Sanctity, period. Okay? I just said something about courage, too. Yeah, go within. Okay? Pray and talk to, you know, whoever your higher power is. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. Mm. Yeah, give it to God. Give it to God. It's like taking it to the altar. You know what I'm saying? But you don't, you don't got to go to a church altar. You can create, you know, one of your own. You are the altar. You are the church. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, look. Courage. Inner power. Mm, your path. And inner child. I feel like somebody is being tested right now. To see if you have the courage to stand, you know, in this inner power that you have, that you, somebody, you're more powerful than you believe you are, okay? And I feel like you don't believe it, and it's blocking your path. Some some kind of inner child wounds is blocking your path. Again, even on this your path card, it's saying, dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Some of you are afraid of something and it's blocking your path, okay? Inner child, allow me to give compassion and love to the little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and fears. Exactly. Some of, somebody needs to surrender something and focus on self. Because there's something about yourself that's blocking forward movement. And both of these cards right here speak of courage. This inner power card says, give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. And then, let me be open to courageously taking the steps that are shown. Okay? Once you go within. And pray and get this guidance. Okay? Okay? The information is going to be sent to you telepathically. Some kind of way you're going to get some kind of message. It could be through a song. It could be through a TV show. It could be through, you could be sitting in your apartment and hear somebody walking past talking, you know, about, you don't even know what the whole conversation is, but you might hear a few words, a phrase, a sentence, or something that may be a confirmation for you. So minimize your distractions at this time so that you can be open to hear and receive whatever message is sent to you. Because there's something about your inner child wounding that's blocking your path. Something needs to be healed there. Okay? And you, you're only going to be able to do that by going within. Tending to yourself. Examining yourself, paying attention to your triggers, the things that make you mad and upset and analyzing them, getting to the root of the problem, like where it all started from and why. What needs to be healed there so, the, so these particular actions or occurrences don't trigger me. 818 on the clock right now. Yes, look in the mirror. That's a mirror number. What's in the middle of yourself? What's on the outside? Eight, your abundance, okay? Your path. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. Yes, it's time for you to look in the mirror, examine yourself, go within with the sanctity. And it don't matter how small you think it is. It, it ain't as small as you think it is. But even if you think it's tiny, something is something is blocking you. Because you're not, whoever you are, I feel like you're pushing past. Some kind of hurt that you encountered in your childhood, okay? 
I don't know if you're refusing to see it or what, but there's something about, look, like I said, it could be something small. And for some of y'all, you know what I just got? For some of y'all with that um, communication energy that I was talking about at the beginning of the video with the Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, and um, the Queen of Swords, you know, and with that Lover's with the choices, some of you all choose not to speak your truth. Some of you all choose to cower. Okay? Instead of speaking your truth. You lack the courage to stand up for yourself. Even when you're being guided, you're being shown the way. You're being given messages, you know. Still, you're blocking your own path for, because of something from your past. But the divine is asking you to be open. Be open to these messages that you're receiving and take a chance on them. Pray and ask to be released from any attachments. Okay? For some of y'all, what I was going to say a minute ago, what I was getting is that with those swords energies that's all about communication right um i feel like for some of you when you were a child you were not able to speak up for yourself okay without fear of being reprimanded punished beat whooped whatever you want to call it okay some of you had your voices silenced as a child and you're used to that so you still accept that even in your adulthood it's time to heal that because you're not a kid anymore you're not a kid anymore and I feel like this hesitancy or lack of courage to speak up for yourself is is it's blocking, you know, your life's path. Yeah, I feel like it, it blocks your confidence as well. Because this says, Dear Lord, help me to trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. I feel like this is more the illusion. Hmm. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight me with your plan. Let me know what's needed and I am open to receive. Yeah, for some of y'all, this is a relationship. And this karma next, there, there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current. So, it doesn't even have to be a past life. It could just be uh, a past part of your life, okay? So, that first part of your life. I think it's what the first 28 years or something. Our life is split, in, split into three parts spiritually. All right. So it could have been sometime during that first 28 years, some kind of wounding. You could still be in there now. Okay. But you can overcome that. You can overcome that. And the way you do so is by grounding your energy, spending some time loving on yourself, taking care of yourself, showing yourself a lot of self-love, self okay? And being okay with this transformation that you're going through. You know, and listening to your spirit, guys. Be authentic. You know? Yeah, that's, that's what's going to set you free and help you understand what your worth really is. And then that divine abundance will flow for you because you'll be on the right path. Yeah. All it takes is a little faith. Okay? Yeah. With this companionship here, I'm getting this you and God. Okay? Spirit gonna help you through this. Yeah. That's why you can surrender it. You can completely surrender it to the most high. Yeah, so you can be able to clear this energy out. All right? So, going forward, pay attention to the signs. When you get triggered, 
when you get angry, when you get upset, when you uh, overreact to situations. You might not see it in the moment, but you know, <coughs> you know how it be a little while afterwards when you're by yourself and you're analyzing the situation, you're analyzing um, how you responded to something, wishing you could have said or did something differently. You know, go, go, go further with the analyzing what you did. Instead of just wishing you could have said or did something different, analyze that. And then remember, you're, you're not this person. You're not, you know, excuse me, confirmation with the birth. This inner child, is this that wounded little you is still inside. But you need to, confirmation, you need to let that, you need to let little you know, y'all grown now. You got y'all now. You can protect little you. You don't have to worry about being punished or reprimanded for standing up for yourself. It's okay to. You should. But remember, with that Queen of Swords energy, you don't have to be a bitch about it. But speak facts. Period. Rest on the facts in a situation. Let that give you the courage and the inner power to speak up for yourself. So that you don't end up feeling wounded later. And shoulda, woulda, coulda said or did this. Okay? Yeah. You're going through some kind of awakening after grief of a situation. Yeah. But I feel like this was all guided to, you know, deepen your connection with the divine. That's what happens to most of us. You know, when you get hurt badly. And you ain't got nowhere else to go but to God. <laughs> you know, most of the time you done strayed too far away. You being snatched back. Okay? But once you follow and trust these signs that you're getting, that flow gonna open up. Okay? Mm. Yeah. Much love. After a lot of delusion and loss. Yeah, you're being guided out of that. So you can start to receive things easily. Let go of shit easily. Okay? Being able to be your authentic self after releasing all of that past baggage. Letting it go, even mentally. Stop thinking about the shit all the time. It's over with. Yeah, being able to reframe everything that happened in your life. This card says it happened for me, not to me. But there's why, that's why it's a lot of green there. There's a lot of growth that happens before you can get to this understanding. You know, a lot of transformation there. A lot of clarity, too, with the yellow. Okay? It's all from divine love. You're not saying you're being called back to God. And you're going to be rewarded. For, for being obedient to what you're being guided to do, okay? So release whatever you need to and work on your intuition, okay? Work on calibrating it. Pray on a regular basis, all right? And release whatever you need to on a regular basis, you know, as you create these practices for yourself. Quiet time, that's like your time with the divine. That's when you'll get the most, you know, guidance. But it takes practice being able to sit quietly and hear that. You don't always have to be in this position or meditating, but just silence alone will do it. Not scrolling on your phone, not looking at the news, you know, not listening to um, no music with lyrics, maybe something instrumental. That's it. You don't even want to think too much. So you definitely don't want to be singing no words. You know? Yeah. Let's get in this divine flow. Start with being grateful. Speaking what you're grateful for. Okay? Trust in this transformation, though. You can trust in it. 
you can also trust that the divine will transform any problems going on in your life if you do your part and you'll be guided on what to do but it ain't gonna be the same as everybody else that's why you gotta be able to tap in for yourself so you can receive what messages are for you okay but first you gotta humble yourself make some sacrifices okay be able to allow help in all right invited by asking you must ask you must ask but what you can receive is limitless okay let me read this here see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways period the, the this is one of my favorite sayings the divine can use anything and anyone so the divine lets you know period don't hey don't doubt nothing because there's nothing i can't make happen in your life baby i could use anything and anyone to teach you a lesson or bring you a blessing i believe that wholeheartedly y'all i say this shit all the time to people I've seen it in my own life. Little miracles. Yeah, you experiencing them too, but ain't paying attention. Yeah. Look, because a lot of y'all think you in control, but I know the divine in control. Because I've healed some shit. I had to go and bow down. Get back closer. I got snatched back too. <laughs> this change card says, when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Somebody's stuck and caught up in the matrix. If you just follow the divine, you'll get right on up out of here. But there's something that needs to be healed first. Okay? So that you can you can you can blossom like this peacock. You can open right on up and be seen as your true authentic self. Trust me, that would be the right thing to do because it's going to set you free from anything that's binding you. Okay? And most of it is our thoughts and shit. It's something that, you know, we experienced as a child. And it's affecting our, our ability to love ourselves. Remember I said you be cowering and trying to ignore these childhood, childhood wounds, these issues from your childhood hurting? We can't ignore it. We have to heal it. Self-love. And reconnecting with the divine is the way. Now, if you've been like... Extremely traumatized, extremely violated or something like that, baby, yes, you're going to need somebody that the divine has uh enabled to have some special training all right so take what i'm saying with a grain of salt and if it resonates 833 on the clock right now that's all again all about your life path your abundance being guided by the higher ups the 33s that's ascended master energy yeah this is what it's going to take for you to get in this flow, okay? Allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. Yes, the, the reason why you can't respond with calmness and peace now is because you still have this, this wounding from your childhood that needs to be healed. Okay? It's time to go within. It's time to stop ignoring this hurt and, and stop blaming other people uh, from current situations uh, on you overreacting or you overdoing something, okay? Because your responses, your triggering is from more than this, this occurrence, you know, or one action or one incident with a person. It's that, it's that other hurt that you feel inside that you have not yet healed. That's showing up constantly. It's time to heal it, y'all. 
allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Yeah, little you. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. It's time for you to tend to your deepest needs and feelings. Nothing more is important. That and getting close to the divine. Your higher self, actually. It's going to help you get in this flow that you desperately desire. Okay? When you're healed for the most part. Okay? And intuitive. Connected. It's not easy to do. And I definitely understand that. But the divine is asking you. To have the courage. Okay. To do what you need to do. To boost up this inner power. So that. Little you. That cowers within can become ferocious when necessary. Okay? Yeah. This needs to be healed. This is the growth. You, you can do this. You can do this. And the divine is like, listen, tap in. I can help you. I can guide you. But I need you to minimize the distractions in your life so that you can be able to pick up on these signs that we're sending you. Hmm. I love that. I don't know who you are, but um, There's something you need to heal because you keep being triggered by it. Okay? But you are so loved by the divine that they like, listen, we got you. Don't worry about it. Okay? Let me get a couple of cards from the soul's journey real quick. Look. True love. Oh, wow. Some of you all could... Um, I didn't mean to pick up that card. And none of these cards that I'm picking up from over there, they're all facing the wall. So when I see one sticking up and I pick it up, I don't know what it is until I turn it over. Okay, just in case you were wondering. But let me get a couple more. Yeah, death. Okay, this is all about transformation. The death card. It's an ending and a new beginning happening. Okay, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Ooh. Maybe you had a recent breakup. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. It's not going to be the same for everybody. What's this sticking out? Ooh. Maybe there was some kind of betrayal. Maybe there was a harsh ending. Okay. Wow. Or maybe you want to end something. Maybe you want to put a final ending to something. And you're 838 on the clock right now. And you're being called to stand up for yourself. Okay? Have the courage to stand up for yourself. Mm. Yeah. Especially if something is not making you happy. Because happiness is an indicator. Yes. This card says, I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So are you happy? If not. You're on the wrong path. Loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. Yeah, somebody, um, again, because of these childhood wounds I'm getting, you feel alone a lot disconnected but you're never alone and there are so many people out here in the world that feel just like you do but it's these it's those wounds that must be healed okay 
yeah, change. A change must occur. We done saw the death and change. The death is transformation. And he has changed. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. That means you have to move. You got to do something. Okay? Some of you are in a relationship where you feel lonely. And if that's the case, you need to make a change. Any other messages? Acceptance. Yeah. I am learning to accept things that I cannot change. Mm. Again. Okay. So some of you could be afraid of being alone. So you may have been tolerating a certain situation or something. Um... But I feel like, again, you can't change another person's behavior. They have to decide to do that on their own, you know. And again, with this acceptance card, with this lotus flower, like, we're all complicated. We're all made of many different layers, you know, each person. There's many different layers to us all. And we have to just accept that. You know? Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yeah, you might feel like you can't do a certain thing or you won't be able to make it or whatever, but you can do whatever you set your mind to. Can I get one more up here? Oh, we. Somebody could be in a messy situation or you feel like it's going to get messy. Even if it do. Stick to what I was saying at the beginning about standing up for yourself, communicating clearly. You ain't got to be a bitch about it, but rest on the facts. Oh, we look at that peace and trust. Yeah. So... You worried somebody could be worried about being lonely, but you're in a situation with no peace and no trust. That's unsettling like a mug. I wouldn't want to be there. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's where you feel lonely. So oh we somebody could be in a situation where they're around a lot of people but still feel lonely because there's no peace. Nor trust where they are. Now that is sad. That is sad. Wow. Again, with this acceptance, I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. I got surrender. I can release my need to control. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It sure does not. Action is what changes outcomes. I know that there is no greater goal um, than to love. Hmm. Yeah, so somebody could have been worried about um, the success of a relationship. But I feel like you've gotten to a point where you see nothing... Nothing's going to change there or nothing has changed or something. You know that there, you know, you, there's an energy of surrender here. Something needs to be surrendered because you, you can't force another person to change. All you can do is what you can do. Yeah, don't be in denial. Yeah, accept it. Because, again, are you happy? Happiness is the indicator that you're on the right path. Are you happy? Wow. 
Oh. <laughs> My bad. I forgot about these. Judgment, blame, and adversity. Mm. So, for some of you, I feel like Your fear of being alone is allowing you to stay in a situation where there's no trust and no peace, yet you're blaming the other person. You're judging the other person, you know, their actions. Like I said, we're all <laughs> complicated. Each person has their own complications, right? And I feel like you're judging this person that you're in this relationship with um, harshly and it could be accurate, okay? But you're staying there. You're staying there. And blaming this person for your lack of happiness, your lack of fulfillment. But you have to accept responsibility for your own well-being because your happiness is your responsibility. It's no one else's. Because instead of blaming somebody else, you know, you can move on. Look for the lesson. Accept what you cannot change and move on. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, look for the lesson and keep it stepping. Instead of trying to hold on Staying in a situation where you feel alone. It is no trust and no peace. That's why delusion showed up. Do that make sense? Yeah, it's time to free yourself. Oh, I hear Fantasia. If you don't want me, then don't turn to me. <laughs> Some of you need to free yourself. Because you just, you complicated too. AF. All right. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Didn't I just say we're all responsible for our own happiness? Hmm. Wow. Ooh. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And, the, and I was saying earlier in the reading um, that for somebody, your energy is blocking your path. You're blocking your own abundance and everything. Because with this resentment energy, somebody is sitting up thinking about all of these different things that's going on. You focused on a lot. Of, there's a lot of negative energy on the board. Because you're resenting somebody for not making you happy. 8, 4, 8 on the clock right now. and But you're responsible for your own happiness. You don't have to stay there. You feel lonely anyway, so why stay there? No trust, no peace? Oh, no. Mm-mm-mm. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So, listen, either this person is going to uh, realize your worth in their life when you step away or not. But whether they do or not, you need to focus on yourself. Give yourself some love and find some peace for you. Yes, again, change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So if you stay there, there's no change, no movement, there will be no growth. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. 
I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. You might feel like this situation is a failure. You may be afraid of it failing. But if you don't take any action, there will be no growth. Period. Yeah. You won't you might think you can't do it, but you can accomplish whatever you set your mind to. The messages I repeat, so I'm gonna let this go. Don't let your pride get in the way. It's time for you to heal more than anything else. Okay? Because you need to understand, too, why would you even accept this? Why are you so afraid of being alone? That's where you're going to be able to heal yourself. You, it don't mean you got to be alone forever. But somebody around a whole bunch of people and still feel alone. That's because you got some inner childhood wounding uh, that needs to be healed. You need to be able to give yourself some peace. You don't trust nobody because you don't trust you. You a wild card because you hurt inside. You can get triggered by some shit, you know, from 50 years ago. I'm going to say 30, okay? Whatever. And wild out. And people are like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? But it's because you're hurting. Wow. Yeah. So, take the time to, like this, to focus on yourself right now. Going within. Showing yourself a whole lot of love. All the love you wish somebody else was giving to you. All the love you pour into others. Pause. Pour into yourself right now. I'm talking about all the things. Do it. The things you wish this other person or these other people would do with you, do it by yourself right now. Get to know you. Get to know what you like. Focus on yourself right now. Okay? You got to minimize the distractions. You don't need to be around a whole bunch of people right now anyway. You're going through an awakening. And it can be tough. But on the other side, it's beautiful. I promise you. Ain't nothing better than peace. Peace and love on the same bar. I'm talking about real. Real love, mutual love, and peace. But without trust, what do you have? Just for you to decide, but all right, y'all. I'm gonna let it go right there. Um, if you need to contact me for any reason, my information is in the description box. You can email me. Um, thank you for your time and attention and being here and listening to the message. Please take only what resonates with you. This is not a personal reading, okay? It's collective messages. So everything I said may not resonate with you as it's not personal. But I really encourage everyone who has not began your healing journey to do so. With the understanding up front that there will be some difficult times, okay? But I promise it's worth it. I promise it is. And it, it's, it'll help you your whole life. Because we, as long as you live, there'll be things that come up that you'll have to heal from. And there's no better time than now to get started. Because the past is gone already. There's nothing to do about that. Right? But you and little you are worth all the self-love you can give. All the healing 
you can initiate and accomplish. And you ain't got to have all the answers. Pray about it. You're going to be shown the way. All right? Until next time, y'all. Peace. Hit the thumbs up button.